Hello everyone and welcome to Cory Loses where today we are continuing our Thrawn's Revenge Imperial Civil War 2.2 preview playthrough as the Empire of the Hand. In the time it was taking for me to set up the episode, the Greater Maldrude actually just came and attacked Packer of Minor. I just auto-resolved because we only had a, I think, level 1 starbase. Yeah, we can only have a level 1 starbase here and no fleet. So we sent in our main fleet here to come combat it. They had a Kosh Teradoc there as well. And some, more, some people were asking what the... Maldrood fleets were without the icons, and that's because we're redoing the Providence model. We posted on the Father Republic mod database page a render of the model itself. It hasn't been textured yet. I think NCAR is going to be working on that, but that's what that is because uh, the 2.2 demo had it in there with the old model, which is still what we're using, but I took the icon out and everything because it's all going to be updated anyways, and I didn't love the icon. A lot of the icons I don't love. A lot of them are going to be redone, but... That's what that is. There's also two ships for the Ride of Authority that have that right now as well. The Torpedo Going Sphere out. and the uh, Imperial 2 Frigate. Out. Choose your reinforcements. But since they have nothing to fall back to here, they're going to come back. I haven't changed the camera since the last episode. I'm going to... Go it's going to be closer in, but I, th I do want to keep it uh, angled. I just need to find the right angle and the right distance, like the right combination there. I don't want to have it in the same place it, or the same orientation that it was before because it's, uh, I do want to be able to have the different Z layers kind of highlighted because if you're looking from straight down, or not straight down, but like more like this, however the base game camera is, probably a little more like that. It's harder to t it makes it look like if stuff's on different Z layers of the same ship, you just have different sizes of the same ship, which isn't fantastic. Affirmative. I've got them in my Do we have any? No, I didn't even build any anti fighter. Just have to try to throw in some stuff that has some uh, some masers or more accurate turbo lasers. Well, these are these are laser cannons. Okay, they're starting to come in. I don't know that the Peltus is going to be super useful in this fight. There's a lot of smaller ships. We'll see if they can sort of nuke them a bit, but... Architents are actually fairly powerful. So it's not going to be too bad. Star Destroyer reporting in. Throw a chaff in there. I don't think these other ships will be super necessary. They had a they had a couple capital ships here when they first attacked, and then they left. So I think it was Kosh and two secutors. I don't think they expected me to actually defend the planets, because who would do that? Who would want to defend? Alright, let's go forward here. Well, you missed. Good job. We'll go after the Providence with those. They did a uh, good amount of damage to this phalanx as well. Those jerks. Okay, let's get these fighters up in here finally. Secondary weapon should be more than enough to take out the Architens. These guys. Was that a main cannon shot from that? Form up. We've got them on scopes. Back your here. Okay, let's grab these interceptors, see what we can do. The Arc 170s are pretty scary. Anything that any fighter that can shoot backwards has such a big advantage in the AW. I really want to reduce the firing rate they have from that cannon. Changing course to intercept. Locking on. Intercepting. On stuff like the K-Wing that can do that as well, it you kind of expect it. The K-Wing's supposed to be top tier, but the Arc 170s are super old. 
So them being that powerful isn't isn't the greatest. I copy them now. Attack commencing. I'm on them. Swap over to there. Coming around. Taking fire. Commander, they're hitting us. Where'd he go? Alright. Reporting. I'm losing. Attack. I've got them in my sights. Coming back around for another one. There's actually still some stuff over here. Ready for command, sir. Grab all these, send them in. Star destroyer standing by. Eliminating target. Getting a lock. Our lasers are destroyed. Bye, Phalanx. Intercepting. I'm on them. Die squadron standing by. Nowhere to run. Ready for battle. Falling out of formation. Star destroyer reporting in. Okay, this syndic coming through should be able to take care of what's left. Get the engines. I'm not super concerned about any of this stuff getting away. It won't be hard to kill once we get back to it. Okay, not bad. Construction. Construction complete. Construction complete. They're still producing very frigate heavy fleets. Unit in production. I don't want them coming to Bilbringi with that. Complete. Or if they do come to Bilbringi, I want to be able to stop it. So, Beginning let's get that set up. Ooh, they're kind of weak right now. Let's take advantage of that. We don't have the best anti-fighter as we just saw, but it's probably worth it before they build up any more stuff there. Uh-oh. There we go. Thought I wasn't going to fire for a second there. Okay. So we can kill Kosh. I haven't seen Truton. I am a little concerned about them being able to build up to a Bellator, but less concerned than I am about the Praetors that, uh, if we leave the Arado Authority alone, can build up to. All power to the engine. Choose your reinforcements. We've already sort of stopped Araidu's incursions into our territory from the south, though. With the, uh... We know they won't come past Amrak until they can take the ground. Crap. Okay, that's just the goal, and it's gonna be able to do that. We're moving out. Move out. Reinforcements canceled. Get Thrawn in there. Go after the stragglers. Regroup for another attack. Let's hit the Golan. Everything we can. Weapons ready. Warm up. Choose your reinforcements. We'll bring in a couple chaffs on the side here. Soak up some damage. Targeting at maximum firepower. Commander, they're hitting us. Where'd he go? We actually do have a fair number of interceptors. Let's uh, we'll set each Peltist on a Crimson. Ooh, Precursor in the same place here. Okay. Intercepting. I'm on them. Stay in formation. Commander, they're hitting us. Go for the Providence. Do you have something to report? And attack position. 
That's down. They are going to jump more in. So these chaffs need to be ready. We can keep this one on there. Thrawn, you can finish off Kosh. Let's get the station. The other thing about killing these frigate heavy fleets is that they're probably going to free up enough pop cap that they're going to start rebuilding uh, with more capital fleets. So they'll start being more of a threat if we end up letting up a bit. But it will let us secure some of this territory. And then we can solidify that. And I think we're basically just down to uh, the Empire of the Hand, Araidu, and Maldruid as the three powers in the galaxy. Zinj is still here, but it's not really anything compared to what we've been able to field or the other two have. Because I think they're pretty much limited to this area. I'm not sure how far up they go. Let's check... Uh, Military is... So yeah, there are still some Imperial forces here. I thought it was just the stuff at Yagdal that we saw, but there's got to be another Imperial fleet somewhere. Underway. You can grab Ord Mantell. And we will finish Zinj first. Because if we go... Uh, either one of those we can do after... We could do a Raidu technically before, uh, Star Destroyer reporting in before Zinj. But the thing I don't want to do Maldrude like first, first because then we have Zinj on one side, Raidu on the other, and they won't be fighting each other at all, which is something to be avoided, I think. Construction complete. We're, we're good here. They would have only recently taken this planet. So there shouldn't be too much built up here either. Commencing. He says as he comes across two ATTEs. ATATs? What? No. How do I Star Wars? But yeah, so uh, the Ascendancy Betas going fairly well Choose so far. There's, there was one issue that was really. It's. Gotta be the weirdest issue I've ever seen since I started modding between like Sins and Empire at War and anything else that I've ever touched. It there was a, a specific value in one of the sh in one of the game files that was wrong, but there was nothing to indicate it was wrong, and it's, it doesn't make the game malfunction in any way. It just made it so that certain people in multiplayer matches couldn't connect to each other. So it was fine for most people, and then uh, Caesar, one of the testers, couldn't connect. And then we thought it was just something on Caesar's end, but uh, then Draconis, one of the STA3 devs, tried it, and Draconis couldn't connect to us either, but Caesar and Draconis could connect to each other. And it's all because two capital ships were set to not be able to bombard the planet's surface. Which, it makes absolutely no sense to me. Like, there's no... It was just the weirdest thing, but that's fixed now. So the rest is just, like, basic balancing stuff, some icons that need to be done. And, uh... I have started going back more heavily into Imperial Civil War development. Uh... Especially working on some of the stuff for the Shadow Hand GC, because that's what we're going to be playing next on the channel. But just some general ability stuff, some, uh... Modeling and texturing. Just whatever needs to be done. Give me the I intend to do a news post soon. Over there. Uh, just covering some of the stuff that needs to be done before release. Because it's been a while since we've had a proper news article for ICW. Uh, and I'm not quite at the point where I want to do the stuff that I need to do for the, uh, for the Air 4 breakdown. Which is theoretically the next... Scheduled nude p news post? Not nude post. There's not going to be any nude posts. Give me uh, a target. And since it's only my stuff that's left for that, I don't want to hold off on having any sort of update until target. that's done. Uh, essentially, what I'd have to do for that is Dallas. The coding for something in the beginning of the Reunification GC, just to see how far we're able to take it for this release. But. I'm probably going to start doing yes. 
like video versions of the news posts as well. Because the thing that I really learned from the whole Fall of the Republic stuff was that uh, a lot of the people who Give me a either read the who read the news posts don't necessarily watch the videos, and a lot of the people who watch the videos don't necessarily read the news posts. Uh, they only, a lot of people will only get their information from one or the other. So Attack if we're able to just do within every oh crap, this is gonna be this is gonna be painful. If we do a video and a text version of all the news posts, then everyone there's more exposure for the mod for one thing, but also people can consume it in whatever way they want. So if I just do big voiceovers on some uh Unit or some screenshots over maybe a few video clips. It'll take a bit more editing, but ready, I think ultimately it should be a better way to do it. Where do you need me? On the move. So I that should be coming up soon. Got something for me? There'll be more information about uh, the overall release. Roger that. And then we'll definitely have the Era 4 breakdown, the Era 5 breakdown received. coming. I don't know if that's going to have a video component to it, because it's really just posting the GC layouts, which is a lot more conducive to text and uh, maybe pictures than speaking, but we'll see. Because a lot of that is stuff that gets sort of covered in the, in the playthroughs. Yes, sir. Yes, Commander. But, Moving yeah, so that, that's just the kind of thing we'll have to see. Heading out. Maybe I'll make that the comment question thing. Oh, God. Oh, God. Don't don't bomb it. Don't bomb it. Don't bomb it. Come, get, shoot. There we go. No. Okay. There we go. Keep going. T4B ready. Give me a target. We've got him on the run. This way. Yeah, you leave. You're just in bunkers. Getting all the Ascendancy stuff set up, though, has been pretty big relief. I've been a lot more busy than I expected to be with all that stuff going on. Trying to get uh, some stuff started for the channel, for the mods and all that. But... It's all starting to come together a bit more. Now that I'm getting better at scheduling my time. Unit in production. Construction complete. Okay, so let's get some of those, Vehicle some of these. In and Vehicle I want to get a couple more of this, actually. We'll focus on those. Unit we haven't used many Vigili. What was that? Which planet was that? Kuat from Zinja's Empire to where I do. Okay, complete. that's not what I expected to see. Is... Here, sir. So is Zinj winning over here? Is Maldrude kind of suffering? Cruiser reporting. I want to go for Garki next. Well, let's see what they're sending in Gunboat there. Here, sir. Vehicle in production. Advancing. Navigating to coordinate. Gunboat here, sir. A lot of frigates. Gee, that is a lot of frigates. Cruiser reporting. 137. Okay, Construction they're complete. they're not kidding around here. Underway. Send some of these up here. Because they might be on their way to attack or Mantel. Here, There's nothing over... This would be a really quick battle. And then we'd trap that fleet of Dorinda. This is... Cruiser reporting. This will be good. Tactical battle imminent. It's going twos. Or goal, two going ones. That doesn't make it a going two, but... We're going to pretend it does. Right away, sir. Gunboat here, sir. So let's uh let's take Garki entirely. And then we'll get ready to take Arinda. reporting. Ascendancy at the ready. Command received. But yeah, there's like 
three. Era five used to be only one GC, and we basically, or well, two if you count the Black Feet Crisis. But we've, I think, got four total now in that era. So that one's definitely been significantly expanded. Okay, that's a lot of quasars. We need. Cruiser reporting. Coming about. Destination confirmed. I really think the the AI does take into account the fighter complements for the ships when it's picking its fleet compositions. Because that's the only way that it would so consistently go for so many carriers. Like the Lugra Hulk, the Sekir, the Quasar. These have all been fairly popular ships for them. I see that coming, so I'm going to invade this now before our invasion gets cut off. Invasion commencing. Yeah. Choose your reinforcements. Okay. Plotted. Position Alpha successfully Reporting. reached. Let's get some um, order tanks. Nice. Capacity. Production halted. We secured a build pad. Sensor node constructing. Go with the We're sensor node. And ready to fire. Position Alpha halted. successfully reached. We're an assault tank, not a boat. Get to that. Actually. I do know there's structure placements up here. Ready to move. Almost there. Weapons ready. Yeah, these guys are dead. We're on station and ready to fire. Spread out, man. Unit destroyed. What do I get to blow up? Flame tanks are not the answer. Unit destroyed. I mean, the AOE is a nice Choose gesture, but... Loud and clear. Order acknowledged. Standing by. Okay. You deploy here. Moving into position. Roger that. Form up. Right away, sir. Form up. Oof. Loud Can they outrun the ATAT -AT shots? Assault. One of them did. They beat the recharge right timer. Away. Orders confirmed. Little sphere, big boom. Choose your reinforcements. Let's get some rapid fire tanks more units. Capacity. Production halted. Ooh. Unit destroyed. Ready for attack. Unit destroyed. Reporting on my way. Order. Okay, we gotta get that back. Copy. They'll never see it coming. He knows what's up. Won't be there for long. Reporting. Attack. Base is under attack. Ready. I copy. Okay, that one's dead. Heading out. There's a sensor array here, I believe. Artillery yes, online. Fire. Yes, Open fire. Don't let it hit the mortar tank. Okay, let it hit the mortar tank. Moving to secondary position. All weapons Reporting. loaded. Unit destroyed. Oh, that's still alive. Fire at will. Almost there. Yes, sir. Fallout troops. We captured an abandoned sensor array. Sensor. Yes, Commander. Array. Let's move out. Choose your reinforcements. Adjusting now. MMT, more artillery, more of these guys. I think we're gonna need more Gozanes. Ready. Let's go. I think we're probably gonna rename all the Empire of the Hand Adjusting tanks when we redo them. Course plotted. Unit destroyed. Almost there. Adjusting Adjusting capacity. Capacity. Production halted. Heading out. Okay, let's deploy these guys over here. Copy. Moving out. Move in over here as well. Actually, let's uh let's kill you this can guy. Distract him for us. 
Keep going. If we can get this guy over here. Your orders. Roger that. Fall out, troops. Form up. Yes. This way. Consider it done. Throw a bomb at him. Unit destroyed. My Lego tanks are falling apart. Awaiting orders. Let's move out. I copy, sir. Let's go. Give me a target. Over there. I can do that. I copy. Alright. Keep going. That's a bit more Prepare. worrying. This way. We don't have anything that can do destroyed. um bombing runs? Yes. Sir. I'll have to check those in the list. Write it on the whiteboard. What I wrote looks a lot more like I wrote bombing yes. rumga, which isn't accurate, but we'll go with it. Okay, let's see if they can kill this before anything else comes out. Unit I copy. Destroyed. Moving to position. T4P. Give me the time. Always ready, sir. Oh. Tank Scrappy. We killed Scrappy. T4B mobile. Unit Come. destroyed. Commence Are you actually hitting it? No. Ready for attack. There you go. These are kinda weak. Yes, sir. Weaker than I'd like. Moving into position. Roger that. Target. Roger that. Form up. Awaiting order. I mean, it might just be the damage types, but... Attack. No, they're fine. Some of the other stuff is just overpowered, like the ATAP. Right away, sir. Assisting with Reporting. suppressing fire. Underway. But that was a lot of lost vehicles for this. Time to kill them dead. Yeah, I, I just played that all horribly. Oh, well, that's less worrying than I thought it would be. Let's combine the fleets for now. Unit in production. Don't want that. Do want this. They can't leave here. Is there really? Hold on. Construction complete. Yeah, there's just units there. They haven't had time to build up an actual infrastructure. So let's use. You no, know I want to. I want to make sure these stay alive for a while. We have eight carrier capital ships, so. That should work nicely. It should work Tactical nicely. Thank you, Thrawn. Imminent. It's nice to be appreciated. And this is... I think they ended up spending most of their pop cap on leftover quasars. So we'll see what they end up building after that. Though quasars will probably be a big part of that. All right, so we're going to save this battle for next episode. So thank you for watching, everyone. We'll be back on, what is it, today? Wednesday? So we'll be back on Friday with this battle, and we'll continue making our way into Zinja's territory. So thank you so much for watching, everyone. See you next time. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, here are some more videos you may enjoy. Also, please consider becoming a subscriber, leaving a like, a comment, or becoming a patron on Patreon today. Your support is what keeps the channel going and is greatly appreciated.